A very good afternoon to all of you children. In today's session, just have a short recap on the topic sentences. Okay. So in the previous session, we have learned all about the sentences. Now we'll have a just a short recap on how to write a sentence. Okay, children. So let me ask you a few questions while writing a sentence. What are the points? Yes, come on, tell me. While writing a sentence, a sentence always begins with a? Very good. That is the first point we need to remember. Okay. The first point we need to remember is that while writing a sentence, always begin a sentence with a capital letter. Okay. As we go on writing, what we have to do? We have to? What's the second point? Finger space. Very good. The second point is the finger space. Okay. And what is the third point? Self stop at the end of the sentence. Okay. So let's move on to today's topic, my dear children. Okay. Yes, page number nine in your English grammar workbook. Okay, so all of you, please do open it and keep it aside. First, let us have a short revision on what we have already learned. Then, so we are in the topic, worksheet to sentences. So we already know what is a sentence. A sentence is a group of words that make sense. All of you, please have a look at the board. All of you, please look at the board. Please keep your pencils down and listen. A sentence is a group of words that make sense. We know what our words are. When the letters are joined together in a proper order, we do get a word. Similarly, when the words are joined together in the proper order, which makes sense, is called a sentence. It should make sense. Only then we can call it as a sentence. While writing a sentence, children. So before we move on to, let's move on to a few examples. Okay. So Ron is playing football. The sun rises in the east. These group of words tell us it makes complete sense. Okay. These group of words. That is Ron is playing football. Who is playing football? Ron. The sun rises in the east. So both these group of words makes complete sense. Okay. They do make sense. So they are called as sentences. Is that clear to all of you? Okay. Both these group of words make sense. So they are called as sentences. Now, I told you while we write a sentence, the first thing we need to remember is always begin a sentence with a capital letter. Always begin a sentence with a capital letter. Okay? That's the first point we need to remember. This is the first point. And the foremost point we need to remember is that a sentence always begin with a capital letter. And the second thing is that, my dear children, use finger space between each word. Use finger space between each word. And the final thing we need to remember is that all about the punctuation. Okay. So we use a full stop. We have already learned about the punctuation mark full stop. So always use a punctuation mark that is full stop at the end of the sentence to show that the sentence is over. This dot is called has a full stop. So in we have to use punctuation mark full stop at the end of the sentence to show that the sentence is over. Okay. Now let's move on. So all of you please have a look at it. First point, what we discussed, capital letter. A sentence begins with a capital letter. We have already learned about the capital letter. That's the uppercase letters are called as the capital letter. See here? Apples are red. So A, we have to begin the sentence. Apples, that is apple, should be written in. We should begin 
the sentence that is A should be written in capital letter. I hope everybody have understood. So apples are red. Okay, and end the sentence with a full stop. Don't forget to use a finger space between each word. Okay, that's the first point. And the second point is all about the finger space. Okay, and the next point is about the full stop at the end of the sentence. Okay, so how I hope these three points are very, you know it well. Now let's move on to the next point, children. Next point is very, very important. Okay, so here I've given you few group of words. Let me ask you, do they make sense, my dear children? Yes or no? Nest, no. build birds. No, it I doesn't know. make sense. Okay, so what we have to do? We have to rearrange them into proper order. How do we rearrange them? Ask questions. Usually I've told you, a sentence always, yes, it should have a subject and a doing word. But here as such, ask questions. Who's doing the action? Who's doing the action here? Birds. Here, the action is done by the bird. Okay. So the bird does the action here. So the birds does the action here. So birds. What is the action being done by the bird? What is the action being done by the bird? Build. So birds build. What do they build? What do they? Yes. What are they building? Nest. So nest. Very good. Then the sentence is over. What in order to show that the sentence is over, what we have to do first. So this is how we arrange the words in the proper order to make a complete sentence. Okay, you can call it yes, a sentence. Then while writing a sentence, please remember sentence always begins with a capital letter. Use finger space between each words and a full stop at the end of the sentence to show that the sentence is over. Okay, we'll do one more example. Dances Sania well. Okay, now ask a question. Who dances? Come on. Who dances here? Sania. Sania. So as you write, as you rearrange the words, my dear children, Sania, we are talking about Sania in the sentence. So Sania has to come first. Sania. What is the action being done by the herb? Dance. How does she dance? How does she dance? Well. Well, very good. So dances well. At the end of the sentence, what we should do? Stop. Very good, my dear children. Very good. Well done. Okay, so this is how we have already started with that exercise. We have already started with the exercise that is in page number eight and nine. So let's continue with the third sentence. Okay, so I hope all of you have understood. So let's continue with the same topic. So now I kindly request you all to open your workbook. Take your pencils in your hand. Page nine. We have already completed with question number one and two. Now let's move on to page nine. Yes. So this answer keys, I'll be sending it after the, uh, once we finish with it, I'll be sending it to you. Okay. Okay, ma. Okay, now let's all of you please open your book. Yes. So, so let's move on to page nine. I hope all of you are ready. Take, we are moving on to the question three. So let me write the question on the board for you. A water fish in swims. S W I M S. 
Okay, so these are few words. So what we have to do, my dear children, we have to, come on, tell me what we have to do. We have to rearrange them. Re rewrite. When we rewrite, we have to rearrange the words. Okay, so it has to make a meaningful sentence. So, all right, read the words. A oh, water, fish, and swim. And what is the sentence is about? What is the sentence? A fish. It talks about a fish. Yes, very good. So let's write about the fish. The sentence is about the fish. And what does the fish does here? A fish. What is the action being done by the fish here? Yes, swims. Swims. Very good. The fish swims. Very good. Very good. The fish swims in water. The fish swims in water. At the end of the sentence, what we should do? Full stop. Very good. Yes. All of you, please do take your open your workbook. Write it. As you finish, please do give me a thumbs up so that we can move on to the next sentence, my dear children. Yes, give me a thumbs up. Let's move on to the next question then. Yes. Now let's move on to the second question. Okay. I hope you all have finished with the uh, that is the third question. Now let's move on to the fourth question. Yes. So, a muse, M E O W S, muse. A muse cat. Okay, children. So these are just group of words. Okay. So we have to, what we have to do with these group of words, my dear children? Come on. Rearrange. Yes, we have to rearrange them. Rearrange. Yes. So when we rearrange them, which word has to come first? Ask a question. Who does the action okay. here? Uh, Who does the action here? Cat. 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 Yes, cat. my dear children. A cat. It is a, a cat. cat. And muse. Yes. What is the action muse. here? The cat. A muse. cat. Muse. 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 Very good. A cat. Muse. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, my dear. Should we write as a notebook? No. You have to write it in your workbook in page number nine. All of you, please do take page number nine. And at the end of the sentence, what we should do? Full stop. Full stop. stop. Very good. Very good. Full stop. Full so stop. please do write it. Yes. So please carry on writing, my dear children. All of you, please do take page number nine. So once you are finished, give me a thumbs up so that we can move on to the next question. Okay, my dear children. Yes.
परे यस राइट फास्ट चिल्ड्रन Come on, write neatly, my dear children. Write neatly. Yes. Okay, children. If you are finished, let's move on to the next question. Are you all ready? Yes. Yes, my dear children. Are you all ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. So let me write the question on the board. So we are moving on to the fifth question. Duck. Oh. Quacks, okay. So Q U A C K S, quacks. So these are the group of words. What are we supposed to do in order to make a sentence, my dear children? Rearrange. Yes, rearrange. Rewrite. So rearrange. Yes, what you said is right. So as we rearrange, what is the sentence is about? Who are we talking about? A duck. A duck. Very good. We are talking about a duck. A duck. Very good. A duck. Quacks. Quacks. Yes. Very good. Q U A C K. As as you write, children, write neatly. Okay. And what we have to do at the end of the sentence? Stop. Stop. Very good. See, children, you write properly, neatly. See that you have to use finger space between each word. Okay. Remember to use begin a sentence with a capital letter, end a sentence with a full stop, and remember to use a finger space between each word. Okay. If you're finished, let's move on to the next question. Write it neatly, my dear children. Have all of you completed, my dear children? No, ma'am. Yes, carry on, carry on writing. No. See that that you completed. Completed. Yes, okay. No. Okay, okay. Carry on writing. Carry on. Okay, children, if you are finished, let's move on to the next question, which is there in your workbook, page nine. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Are you all ready? I hope all of you have completed it. Ready, yes? ma'am. Yes, okay, ready then. So let's move on to the next question. So here we go. Sixth question. Okay, have, let, let me write the question for you first. Have... I rabbit a pet. Rabbit a pet. 
okay so these are few group of words what we have to do my dear children with these group of words i have it yes we have to rearrange them while we rearrange them follow the rules okay while writing a sentence so while rearranging them whom are we talking about in the sentence you're talking about i i have a sentence yes i what do you have i have a rabbit a baby a rabbit pet rabbit okay don't forget to write the word pet pet rabbit okay so i have a pet rabbit so the sentence you have to begin the sentence with a capital letter and end the sentence with a full stop very good so this is the way you have to construct the sentences children okay so i hope you have understood Yes, come on, children. Patrick, I'm so proud. Have you all completed it, my dear children? Yes. If you have finished, give me a thumbs up, my dear children. Helen, have you completed it? What about Dian Madhav, Aradhya? Yes, Ezra finished. What about Badri Nath? Badri, have you finished, Badri? Yes, good. Good, Vaiga. Yes, Alan Krita, very good. Advait. Yes. Now let's move on to the next question, my dear children. Can we move on to? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Now let's move on to question seven. Okay. Let's move on to question seven. Here, let me write the question for you first. Kali hair has Jack has Jack J A C K. So these are just group of words. What are we supposed to do now? I'll be calling you one person. Hey, baby, I'm going to mute you all. Now that we have studied how to construct sentences, and we have already know how to while writing a sentence, what rules we have to follow. Now we are familiar with the sentence. Now let me ask one by one. Anna, Anai, Anil, come on. So what shall we do with this? Come on, read the group of words. Anai, Anai, are you there? No. Okay. Let me move on to Rafa then. Rafa, come on, unmute it. Yes. Unmute it. Yes, Rafa. Rafa is not there. What yes, ma'am. Yes, Rafa. Come on, read the group of words. Kali. Kali. Ah, uh, hair. A has S Jack Jack. Okay, so what we have to do? Yeah. We have to rewrite them. As we rewrite those words, we have to rearrange the words in the proper order. So, whom are we talking about in the sentence? 
We're talking about whom in the sentence? Are we talking? Yes. Come on, tell me. So curly hair has Jack. Okay. So who are we talking about in the sentence? Who is doing the action here? Come on. I'm not getting an answer. Okay. Okay, guy three, come on, guy three. Your mama's not there. Yes, uh, guy three, come on, tell me. Curly hair has Jack. Jack. Mm. We are talking about Jack in the sentence. So Jack has to come first. Very good. Jack. Jack. What are we talking about Jack? As has very good jack has what does he what does he have yes curly curly hair okay jack has curly hair okay so we are talking about jack in the sentence so jack has curly hair yes very good very good guy three so at the end of the sentence what we should do unmute it and come on give me the answer yes i'll unmute it for you Yes, come on. Guy three? Yes. Come on, tell me. At the end of the sentence, what shall we do? Full stop. Yes, very good. Full stop. Yes. So I understood you all have learned it, how to do the sentences. Very good, guy three. Great job. Yes, well done. Now let's move on to the next person. Okay. So come on, write that sentence. All of you. Last two sentences in the workbook, children, that is 9 and 10. You can do it by yourself. Okay, try it out. 9 and 10, you'll be doing it. Ma'am will be sending the answer keys later. But see that we have already, we'll be completing eight sentences during the session. And 9 and 10, just try it out whether you could do it by yourself. Okay. And later, I'll be sending you the answer keys. So very good children, all of you are doing good, okay? So you have understood how to write a sentence and what the rules we have to follow while writing a sentence. Very good. I'm very happy about it. Yes, then. Now let's move on to, if you have finished, let's move on to the eighth question. Otherwise, I'll give you a few more minutes for you all to finish. Who will be doing it? Joanna Rose is ready. Okay, Joanna. Come on, Joanna. I hope all of you have completed. No children. Have all of you completed it till eight question, uh, till seven? Or do you want me to give me some more time for you to complete it? Have all of you completed it? Yes? Yes. Yes, all of you. Have all of you completed? Yes, yes. Joanna. Now let's move yes. on to the next question. Yes. Joanna, yeah. now ma let ma'am write the question on the board for you. Okay. So the question is, read. R-E-A-D. Read. I can. So these are the group of words. I can. Okay, so only three words are there. So I have to rearrange them. So Joanna, come on, tell me what, is, what shall I do with these group of words? I can read. Yes, very good. So I have to rearrange them in the proper order. Okay, so what should I do? So it is talking about I. So I can plan. Read. Read. Very good. I can read. At the end of the sentence, what should we do? Full stop. Full stop. Very good, my dear children. Full stop. Yes. So complete till 
eight questions. Okay, those who haven't, see that, that you complete your work very quickly. Yes. Nyan question is answer. But you can do it by yourself. Also after the session you can do it. Yes. I cannot. Right. Can I complete the ninth question? Can I move to the ten? Yes, you can do it. Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, ninth question is Uma. 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 Or told us a story. Very good, very good. Uma told us a story. Very good. So here. Story, story. Thank you, Nipa Ramana. I have completed. Uma, a told us. So, how do we write this, my dear children? Uma. Uma, we are talking Uma about Uma told in the sentence. Us yes, story. told us a story. Very good. Story. Told us a story. story. Very good. At the end of the sentence, see that, that you have to put a place a Very good. Yes, very good, my dear children. If you have completed, great job. Very good. Okay. Yes. So I hope all of you have completed it. Okay, children. So it's time for us to wind up today's session. It's time up, my dear children. So can we wind up today's session? Yes. Completed. Yes, com completed. okay, children. Very good. See that, that you complete even the 10th question. Okay, yeah. children. So, bye bye. Thank, Thank you, you. Bye bye. 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 Bye b